Hi everybody. Are you all interested to learn English? But are you really afraid of talking because you are not confident? Are you very sure that grammar is the most important component for speaking a language? Be it any language for that matter. Hi, I'm Karishma Kiran, a certified teacher and a language trainer with an experience of eight years as of now. So I'm here today to discuss on one of the most important topics and the most debated topics as well. Let's go into the concept right. Is grammar very important for language? For the past few days and months, I've been associating myself. I've been working uh, with people who are wanting to learn language. In simple terms, spoken English or spoken language. So to this, many of them, whenever I started class or whenever they want to enroll or whenever they want to practice the language, they say, I am not sure of grammar. I don't know grammar or to learn a spoken language when they come forward they say please teach me this grammar that grammar give more importance to grammar now there are many people who say grammar as rules for a language have you heard of it are you one among them who says grammar is a set of rules of any language Okay, now I'll give you an explanation. Maybe your perspective of grammar might change after this. Listen, Plato. Plato told that this world itself is an imitation. We all imitate one another to be whomever we are now. Why am I talking about imitation? Because cavemen and men in the uh, you know in the past tenses, yeah. These people, how did they learn a language? First, if grammar is called as the set of rules for a language, how did they start speaking? What did they do? First, did they write down all the grammar? Did they compile everything together? And then did they apply words accordingly? And then did they talk according to it? Did that happen, guys? I don't think so. No. Anthropologist. Darwin, you, I hope you all know Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin, he clearly says, just like how man evolved from ape, yeah, just like that, language also evolved over time. It's, it's very clear, isn't it? The different sounds that we made uh, from the nature, the sounds that we understood from the nature, that slowly, slowly evolved into becoming a language. So in this itself, it is very clear that it was the language which came first. The most uh, debated question is did the uh, uh, egg come first or did the chicken hen come first. Like this, it was not the grammar which came first but it was the language which came first. From the language, oh, more and more and more studies gave rise to something called as grammar. So now getting back to this point, children, we as children, we all would have learned at least one language. These days, me being a teacher myself, when I go to school, I happen to see many mixed uh, uh, children uh, who come from backgrounds of mixed races, mixed languages, mixed cultures. In that case, each child talks at least two to three languages. Me as a child, you as a child know your mother tongue very well. Did your parents teach you the grammar? Did you uh, sit for a grammar class? Did that happen? No, we just imitated what our parents spoke, we spoke. But if we are questioned about grammar, that is a question. But still without grammar, the answer here is, yes, you can learn a language without grammar. For spoken language, grammar is not important at all the answer is a big no grammar is not important for spoken language but let's get into this again the question is grammar important for language this time i'm modifying the question is grammar important for 
language, I am not saying spoken language, language. See, now, any language, I am not just talking about uh, English for that matter. I also studied French. I am also uh, quite mastered uh, in it. I am also teaching French as well, apart from English. So now getting back to this concept, any language for that matter, any regional language, foreign language, anything, if you want to learn a language as a whole, language is a mixture, it is a melange of four components. It is a mixture of four components. L, S, R, W. I repeat, L, S, R, W. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. So in this I told you speaking. To speak, grammar is not important. But whereas listening, reading and writing, these three components require grammar. So if you are looking for learning only a spoken language, then you don't have to concentrate much in grammar. But whereas if you want to acquire the language as a whole, in that case, you will have to concentrate in grammar as well. So now, now that I have spoken about uh, the speaking skill, the spoken language English, coming back to the concept, what is grammar? See, uh, grammar uh, is not set of rules, but now imagine we all know any regional language for that matter whomever is listening to this now you all know the language which our ancestors used the great grandfather and uh, forefathers and the language which we use now has a wide difference uses a wide wide difference same way english uh, during the period of william shakespeare one of the most famous uh, writers, dramatists, poets during the period uh, called as the Elizabethan period. His English was totally different. His English was a mixture of Latin and German. But that is not the same English we use now. So grammar is nothing but it is a concept which shows how a language is being spoken in a particular period of time. I repeat a grammar is a concept which shows how a language is spoken at a particular period of time and learning that is just as simple as a piece of cake it's not as difficult as many of us think it is not dry a subject as many of us perceive it to be so how to acquire the learning skills how to further the speaking skills how to start reading what else to do for writing what are the grammars you need to learn in order to master a language for all these questions we will be answering it in the further videos until next time this is karishma here signing out keep speaking keep growing thank you